Welcome back, everyone. So now that we have our API deployed, there's one last thing we can do before we finish off the course, and that is to test if it's actually working. So I'm going to be using Postman. And if you don't know what Postman is, it's a great tool that allows you to test backends without having to build a front end first. So before you create a React or an Angular application, you can test if your backend endpoints, which are the core business part of your you know, business logic, actually work. So please create a new request, set it to a post request because ours is a post request. Then I want you to come over here to API and copy your URL that you can find over here. I'm going to be using the dev URL and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go to routes and I'm going to copy this route as well. Okay. And now paste it in. So we have the URL slash, and then we have our endpoint and make sure you don't have any trailing white spaces that can cause a lot of issues. And now, I'm going to go back to my Lambda function and let's see how we have to create our request. So it expects it to be inside a body and within that it should be inside the query and the headline tag. Okay, so we come over here to body, you select raw and then you create the query and inside the query you create the headline and actually I'm going to move this down like so. And here is going to be the headline and make sure you have double quotes. And I'm going to say new anti-aging cream discovered. Okay, now let's run this. And as you can see, this belongs to the health uh, category because it's talking about a new anti-aging cream that got discovered. Awesome. So we have the predicted label and we have the probabilities. It's 99.7% sure. And remember, these are the other categories. And you know, you can verify your output, whatever you want. So I just like to send the predicted label and then the all the other probabilities. And obviously the maximum is the one with the health. Okay. Now, if I come back over here and you know, we can play with this, we can say, you know, NASA develops new space ships and let's send the request now as you can see it belongs to the science category and it's 99999 percent sure so our model is working so you know let's recap so we've deployed we have an open source lm that we've created the distilled bird model we hosted it on a SageMaker endpoint we set up a lambda function that when triggered calls that endpoint and we set up API gateway so that when we call a route, it hits that endpoint. That endpoint hits AWS, triggers AWS Lambda. That AWS Lambda hits the endpoint and it gets back the inference to the user. And right now the user is Postman. So I think it's pretty amazing what we've accomplished in such a little time. And I do want to show you how you can debug some of these applications, okay? So let's assume, you know, I have something like I misspell query. So it's just an weary. And if I send this, as you can see, message internal server error. So I can come back over here and I'm inside my Lambda functions and I click on monitor and I can look at the CloudWatch logs. Okay. And hopefully this error is going to, you know, show up. And as you can see, here is the error, key error. And it's talking about the query, you know, and it's saying there's an issue with the query and this is how you can debug applications now obviously um, if you look at our code it doesn't really have error handling logic so it either returns a 200 with the correct results or it fails so you know in production you would add a try accept blocks in this and and make it more production ready but to get you started off and to show this off to your employers and to your boss this is going to give you a very big boost because not only do you know everything besides about these large language models, you know how to deploy them, you know how to debug them, you know what kind of instances you have to deploy them on, and you also know how to debug uh, deployment issues. So I really hope you've learned a lot in this course and it's feel free to play around with this and, and show this off. Now let's make sure it's, it's correct and let's 
Let's try something else. Machine learning course wins most entertaining course of all time. Let's see what this would be. And this is related to science and we're happy about that, right? Because this is about science. So, you know, and you can do this with any kind of model you want. You just have to change your training data, okay? So before you leave, I do want to encourage you to watch the next video where we're going to do some cleanup to make sure you don't incur any charges.